Today we're going to be talking about the MeanJet MX4 from Sneed Coating Solutions. And these are tips on a successful installation. So the controller can be mounted just about anywhere. Uh, the standard cord length is almost six feet, about three meters. And so you can set that apart. If you need longer cords, we can definitely get that to print head to cable cords here. Uh, you'll notice that I've got this in a downside configuration. doesn't matter which side we have. One of the most important things with it that we need to make sure that we adjust or pay attention to whenever we're installing the head is the fact that it's level. Uh, so I have a uh, handy dandy little level that I use um, just to make sure that of course we are straight both from side to side and front to back. That way we make sure that the heads are always in the proper position. You should have a fairly consistent spacing all the way along the bottom. That way the substrate is always the same distance from the print heads. You always want to make sure that you have everything secured as tight as possible so that way whenever you're changing out the ink cartridges you don't get a lot of motion. Uh, if this moves from left to right or up and down that can mess up your alignment and throw, uh, throw off your printing. You'll have to re readjust your delays uh, and interval settings. Always try to make sure that the photo cell is before the product. So on this uh, conveyor, we've got the, product, the direction of travel is from this direction to here. So we're sensing before it actually gets to the head, and that's how we set our print delay. If you have a really long product and you need to print in the middle of it, it may be beneficial to move the sensor over to the other side and trigger the edge over here, and that way you've got a shorter delay. You'll notice that we also have the encoder connected. Uh, anytime that we're printing barcodes, the, uh, the uh, text that we want to have aligned and keep aligned, having an encoder attached is always a good idea. You want to make sure that the encoder has, is attached firmly. You've got some spring uh, tension so that way even if there's a bump or something like that it, it maintains good contact. You want the roller in a good direction of travel. You don't want it angled. Uh, that'll throw your readings off. You want to try and make sure everything is as straight and direct as possible. Other than that, when you're installing it, one of the nice things to do is bind up your cables. That way you can set them to where they relieve pressure from the head. You're not pulling on anything, not pulling on uh, the strain reliefs there. Try to make sure that everything is as supported as possible and as even as possible and straight as possible. That's the basics to a successful installation. Other than that, there's a lot of uh, practice and uh, trial and error that goes into getting everything set up. Uh, but it's not too hard, it just takes, uh, takes a little time. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at Sneed Coding Solutions. Thanks again.